Welcome to another video by Woki Techno Pedagogy. In this video, you will learn how to sign up to Learning Apps Workspace. First, open the Chrome browser. Then, in the address bar, write Learning Apps. Press Enter and enter the first link learningapps.org. If you want to change the language in which the site appears, you can use the country flags which appears at the top. If you already have a username in this website, or if you want to sign up for the website, click on Login. If you have already registered before, you can type here the email you used to register, and your password. If you have not registered yet, click on Register New Account, and fill out the registration form. I recommend starting with email address. Type your email address. Then I recommend copying the first part of the email address and paste it in username. This way your learning app's username will be the same as your username in your email address. Create a password. It should be at least 8 characters long, and you can include numbers, letters, or other characters. Type the same password again in Repeat Password. Check V next to the first section. This section is mandatory. The other two sections are optional. Read and decide whether to mark V or not. Type the security code that appears on the left side. Finally, click on Register Account. You can create various activities in the Learning Apps website. The activities that you'll create will be stored under My Apps. To create a new activity, click on Create App. If you want to see activities other teachers have created and use them, you can click on Browse Apps, choose the age range that you teach, choose the field of knowledge, the subtopic, and before you are various activities. You can use those activities and send them as they are to your students. You can also edit them and send them edited and customized to your students. For example, I would like to update this activity and adapt it to my students. To do so, I'll click on Create Similar App. Now I can see a copy of the application. I can update the different fields. And finally, I'll click on Finish Editing. And then on Save App. I now have an updated copy which I can send to my students. To do so, I can use one of the following methods. The first one is to copy the link. I can copy and paste this link, for example, in an email, a WhatsApp message, use Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, and so on. Another option is to copy the embed code. If I do so, I can embed the activity within another site. The third option is to copy the QR code. I'll click on it once. I will right click on it and copy it by clicking on Copy Image. I will paste it, for example, in a Word document or in a PowerPoint presentation. I'll print them out and give them to my students. When the student scans the code using his smartphone, he can see the activity directly on his smartphone. In the following videos, you will learn how to create activities through the Learning Apps website.